Yo, 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 what's up? It's me, um, Lucifer2B666, and I'm showing you a mod of Wolfenstein 3D. I'm gonna have a mini series, I don't know how long it will be, um, <clears throat> of the mods I've been making. So here we go. Um, I haven't even tested this out to see if it works. Um, well, I, I have on my other computer, but I transferred it to this computer, and I don't even know if it will work. So, yeah, this first level, um, I will, you know, show some others, too. Um, not in this episode or whatever you want to call it, but, um, you know, maybe in the future. Um, not maybe, I mean, it's for sure. I have two more to show you, possibly four, and then past then depends on whether I want to do it or not, but... Um, <clears throat> so, the scenario for this mod is a prison escape. Um, kind of sounds familiar with the real storyline, um, when you're escaping from the castle, but, um, yeah, I didn't change any of the episode things, I didn't change any of the textures at all, so, let's start. Um, let's see. I don't even know if this will work. Yep, it works. Okay. So, um... So... Kind of seems laggy for whatever reason. Um, so... Uh, I gotta kill this guy. Let me take their ammo. There's guys behind me, too. Um, so, yeah, wait, yeah, it is a little glitchy, but, um, it works, it was my first mod I ever made on Wolfenstein 3D, so, uh, give me a round of applause for even doing that. gonna be a guy right behind me over here. Um oh, there's a the guy over there in the locked door. Um so yeah, this place is full of guys. Um as you could probably see it. Give me the key, let's it's one thing I don't like about Wolfenstein 3D is that sometimes you can't pick stuff up even though you're right over it and it just bugs me, I don't know. Um, so notice if I move to the side, that texture over there, the wall, glitches out. out. It was originally not supposed to have that texture right here. It was supposed to have a wall texture, but you can't put doors that close together, I learned. Um, you just can't. It's something stupid with um, the engine. You just can't do it. Um, but it's, it's fine. I learned from my mistake, and I won't do it again. Um, so, let's go into the warden's um, office that's over here that I made specifically um, for the warden which ran out and I already killed him here's the bathroom uh, here's his closet which is full of goodies um, I don't need to pick up those keys or the health um, I just put the keys there because it would look like, you know, it's his, uh, little whatever. Okay. Let me pick up ammo. And then this is his kitchen. That's where he eats, and that's his sleeping little area. Um, <coughs> so yeah. Now let's get out of here. Uh, there's nothing really more to this level. Uh, I added three levels. 
Um, this one mostly resembles a prison, but um, if I didn't tell you it was a prison, you probably wouldn't know that it is. Uh, you, you might actually, but I don't know. Okay. So we finished the level. I didn't add any custom anything, um, really. And, um, the end of the level is right next to me, but if you want extra stuff, you have to go through the level. Does that make sense? Um, so, it, it does pay off to actually do this level. Um, there's three levels, like I said. Okay. Now, notice how I, I really am... <coughs> took a complete, um, gamble with this. Um, Wolfenstein 3D, the engine was absolutely not made for far combat whatsoever. Um, I, I don't know why they, they didn't make, um, their engine even, like, barely able to run really far like this is about as far as you can go without it like not being able to see the other wall on the other side and it, it's just like a mess if you make a giant um complex um if you look like most of my levels are pretty small compared to the campaign and why that is is because um the normal campaign they, okay, they give you a little grid, and um, you can only fill, you can fill the grid, but it's not that much. Does that make sense? Um, like, all of the campaign missions go as far as they can go, basically. Um, so... I don't know, it's really hard to do. Um, I didn't add any secret areas in this level because I didn't know how yet. Um, which it's really simple. I'm surprised I didn't know how to do this yet. But, um, we're approaching the third level now. And, um, oh, by the way, back there I forgot to explain, um, that... That big room was the interrogation room. If you go into those two other locked rooms, that's where they interrogate you. And um, that big area with all the gold and stuff and tons of ammo that I just went in uh, was their storage area where they store all their ammo. So, I don't know if that makes sense. Um, and then this is the exit to the building. What die? Okay. Got this first key. Uh, let me get the health um, too. So now the police are here because um, they heard there was a prison break. <laughs> it's that I have to explain this because um, it it doesn't look like that, but um. And that's it. That really is it. Um, you open up this door, and then you head to the right really quickly. I should have put a fake door there to actually look like, make it look like it's an escape. But um, I don't know. I realized that until afterwards. Um, if, I'm not gonna go all the way over there, it just plays a little animation of you jumping, like, if you finish the campaign, it does that, but, um, and then it shows you the normal storyline for the real game when you finish it. <coughs> oh, sorry, um, I had to sneeze really badly. Um, fun fact, if you rub your nose, um, I forgot about this until, um, after I sneezed. If you rub your nose, you actually don't sneeze. It's a really weird trick. I, I don't know if it's under your nose or if it's on your nose. I can't remember, but 
it, it, you just can't sneeze then. It's really weird. But, um, well, that's it for the mod. I'll do the little animation in a second. But, um, I guess like, favorite, and subscribe. Hopefully you liked this mod. Uh, I'll show some more later. But, um, yeah, hopefully you liked it. So like, favorite, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Peace.